when copper 2 chloride, shown here, reacts with sodium nitrate, copper 2 nitrate and sodium chloride are formed. Let's write a balanced chemical equation. Copper 2 chloride plus sodium nitrate forms copper 2 nitrate and sodium chloride. Note the 1 to 2 to 1 to 2 mole ratio. If 15 grams of copper chloride react with 20 grams of sodium nitrate, how much sodium chloride can be formed? This is a limiting reactant problem. Not having the molar masses in front of me, I think I would just write both three-step conversions and circle the lower number. We have enough copper chloride to make 13.05 grams of sodium chloride. We have enough sodium nitrate to make a little bit more. So it turns out that it was fairly close. This is the answer to the question. At, after you've made 13.05 grams of table salt, you've run out of copper chloride. How much of the excess react, reactant is left over in this reaction? Well, it's the sodium nitrate. So let's see how much of the sodium nitrate is consumed when we use up all of that copper chloride. So this is a three-step problem that goes from copper chloride to sodium nitrate. And what we find is that of those 20 grams of sodium nitrate, not surprisingly, we used up almost all of it, 18.97 grams, and only 1.03 grams remains. Next question, if 11.3 grams of sodium chloride are formed, not bad, considering you made most of your theoretical yield of 13.05 grams. What's the percent yield? I'm going to say 80 percentish, 11 out of 13. And the answer is 87 percent. 11.3 grams is the actual yield. 13.05 grams is the theoretical yield. That's an 87 percent recovery.